And now it is my pleasure to introduce a friend of mine who has gone from being an idol to winning three Grammy Awards, selling more than 25 million albums and 45 million singles worldwide. Please welcome Kelly Clarkson. I've been a fan of Reba since I was a little girl. Her voice has always felt nostalgic for me, even as an adult. There's something about her tone and her storytelling that just feels like home. Sometimes when we meet our heroes, it doesn't always pan out, you know, how you hope. But meeting Reba, being friends with her, and eventually becoming family has been one of the highlights of my life, truly. So thank you so much, Reba, for listening to me vent as an artist. Thank you so much for comforting me on the phone through my tears. like a friend, and thank you for being a really rad grandma for my kids, so I love you so much. I hope you enjoy this song. Don't judge me. <laughs> I remember it all very well. Looking back, it was the summer I turned 18. Lived in a one-room, run-down shack on the outskirts of New Orleans. We didn't have money for food or rent, to say the least, we were hot-pressed. And Mama spent every last penny we had to buy me a dancing dress. Well, Mama washed and combed and curled my hair, and then she painted my eyes and lips. And I stepped into a satin dancing dress that had a stick from the side, cleaned up to my head. It was red velvet trimming, and it fit me good. Back from a looking glass, there stood a woman where a half grown kid once stood. Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. She said, Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. Mama dabbed a little bit of perfume on my neck, then she kissed my cheek. Then I saw the tears welling up in her troubled eyes as she started to speak. She looked at a pitiful shack and then she looked at me and took a ragged breath. She said, your paws run off and I'm real sick and the baby's gonna starve to death. She handed me a heart-shaped rocket and said to find no self be true. And I shivered as I watched a roach crawl across the toe of my high heel shoe. Sounded like somebody else that was talking at me, Mama, what do I do? She said, just be nice to the gym. You want chance, fancy, don't let me down. She said, Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. Lord, forgive me for what I do. But if you are now when it's up to you, now don't let me down. Call your mommy, put it in your town. Run long after a benevolent man took me in off the streets. And one week later, I was pouring his tea in a five-room hotel suite. Yes, she was. John the king, the congressman, and an occasional aristocrat. And then I got me a Georgia mansion in an elegant New York townhouse. But and I ain't doing that. In this world, there's a lot of self-righteous hypocrites that call me bad. Kelly and Dave Haywood of Lady Annabella Mail. Give it up for us. 